All right, I'm just going to show a quick example of what remote desktop logon looks like using the hardware YubiKey USB token, and then also using my soft token uh, running in Google Authenticator on my phone here. So first I'll do the YubiKey. So the YubiKey goes with the user. I'm gonna plug it into my computer with this extension cable so you can still see it. It's just a little token about the size of a normal key. Okay, so now I'll start my remote desktop and connect to the server with my username and password. And now you'll see once it opens, I'll have an extra field here asking me for my one-time code. So I'm going to press the button on that physical key and it's going to type characters in automatically, which fills in that field. And then I can click submit and log in. All right. So that's halfway done. Now I'm going to show the same authentication using the Google Authenticator instead. And you can use Google or you can use Microsoft Authenticator. All of these things are effectively using the same algorithm. So, okay, I'm going to log in with my username and password. Then it opens and asks me for my second factor. And in this case, it's this guy here. You can, the, it's a little too small for you to see the text, but it's showing me that that's the correct token for this domain. I have a bunch, but you'll probably just have one or two depending on how you're using your app. So I'm gonna enter the current code, which is 188624. It's turning red and it's going away, but that's fine. As long as I get this right, it's okay and it'll still work for like a minute and a half, even though the code has changed now on the phone, this other old one is still good. So there's a little bit of latitude on there. I'll click submit and I can log in with the soft token. So those are the two basic kinds of user experience and thanks for watching.